All right, I'm gonna break it and um, mess up my kitchen floor for y'all. Here we go. That did not have a cheese pool, but it's vegan, so it's all right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. Today we're doing vegan breakfast hot pockets in the air fryer. Let's get started. All right guys, we're starting off with using light live bacon, but I do want to enhance the flavor. So I'm taking about four or five strips and we're going to add just some bacony ingredients to it. I would have used my coconut bacon, but I just did not feel like making it. So we're going to take some smoked paprika, about a teaspoon, and then I'm going to shake in some sea salt. Did not measure, just eyeball it guys. Now we're going to put in about a capful, maybe a little under a capful of maple syrup because again, you want to give a salty, sweet flavor to your bacon. Then I'm adding in my Jane's Crazy Seasoning because I put this on everything. Really, it wasn't necessary, y'all. I just, I literally put it on everything. Now, I noticed um, that it still needed something else when I tasted a couple pieces, so I'm shaking in some liquid smoke. And then I'm going to sit this to the side and let it sit. Next, I'm taking some puff pastry sheets that I let thaw overnight in the fridge. And I'm gonna take one and I'm just gonna roll it out. I didn't roll it out too thin, guys. Just kind of really just warming up the pastry. I really didn't roll it out to make it any bigger than what it already was. So now I'm cutting in our Hot Pockets. Um, I decided to go with three um, and that's just what I did. You can make them bigger, smaller, but I think these are pretty much standard Hot Pocket uh, sizes. After you cut out your Hot Pockets, you're gonna take uh, your scrambled eggs. I use just egg. And you're gonna take Violife Kobe Jack Shreds. And for my sausage, I'm gonna use Phil Rose Apple and Maple Breakfast Sausage. Just cutting that up until our puff pastry. Now don't do this part, guys. Move it over, because I'm gonna end up moving the puff pastries over anyway, but I thought this was a more efficient way to work, but really, when I went to close, each puff pastry was just in the way. So as you can see, I'm doing one with bacon and sausage, one with just bacon, and then one was just sausage. Now I'm putting on my just egg. Now my just egg was scrambled with just butter, black salt, garlic, and onion powder, y'all. That's it, mix it up, mm, delicious, okay? So the next step uh, after the eggs is of course the cheese. I just kind of slathered that bad boy on there. You guys get it. You can load this up with whatever you want to. This is just my breakfast hot pocket idea, okay? Now we're gonna take the other puff pastry that you cut up. Stretch it out a little bit. You see how I had to move everything out the way. That's why I said don't, don't do that, okay? Stretch it out. And I'm not doing anything special with the fork, y'all. I'm just gonna press it with a fork. I didn't add water or anything, no egg wash, nothing. Just got a fork and started pressing around. Fold and press. Now, I know how bad this looks. I, I'm fully aware how bad this looks, but it's going to work out. Stay with the process, okay? Y'all know I don't like to do anything that involves pastries because that's not, that's not my calling. But it, it worked out in the end, I promise you. So all you're gonna do, again, is stretch it on out. There you go, and press press with the fork. Yeah, stuff it in there. Whoop, whoop. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all get it? Okay, great. Next, I melted some country crock plant butter and we're gonna just spread that on the top of our puff pastries or our vegan hot pockets that we have made. And then we're gonna stick them upside down in the air fryer. And the reason I did this is because I have to butter the other side. Okay, so I'm putting them in upside down and then place butter on the other side. Now, my air fryer's temperature is already set to 375, and that was fine by me. And now we're going to fry for 10 minutes on one side and then flip 10 minutes on the other side. Here I am about to show you guys how one side looks done, but the other side is still undercooked. So maybe if you have the uh, air fryer with a fry basket, it might fry both sides in 10 minutes, just check and see. But since mine does not have a fry basket, I have to flip when I fry and fry both sides evenly. So now I'm gonna close the lid and cook the other side for 10 more minutes or fry the other side for 10 more minutes. It is now time to take our Hot Pockets out and I was so impressed with how they look, y'all. Yay, beautiful. All right, here we go, guys. Bim, crispy, y'all ready? So again, don't know what's in these fillings. Uh, let's pick one, it is still hot. All right, so I need to wait 30 whole seconds. I'm so eager, I'm so excited. So basically, from the look at these guys, and as ugly as I did these, it will work out for you. I'm 
very happy with how this please up uh, very happy with how this please wow very happy with how this turned out because i was like oh my gosh no one's ever gonna eat these from me but they came out really good you can't even see that i um folded these like i was three let's just bite into this one i'm gonna burn my mouth for y'all because <laughs> that's what i do every time all right here we go it's the buttery crust for me <laughs> I didn't even hardly get to the filling. It's the buttery crust for me. Okay. This one definitely has some sausage in here. Okay. Y'all see that? Look at that. That's insane. Okay. It's so good. Wow. Let it cool. Don't do what I'm doing. This is so... Y'all, hold on. Hold on. That ain't showing y'all nothing. I'm trying to let y'all see in there. Can y'all? Y'all can't see. That look like Jesus empty tomb. Ah! Okay, y'all get it? Okay, I was really hoping for a cheese pull. Like, I really thought that was gonna happen and it's a no. It's a no. Now, I will say this about the cheese. I should've just done plain cheddar. Kobe Jack is not giving me my breakfast Um of choice of what I need, but it's good. It is so good. All right, here is the one with bacon, cheese, and egg. Oh, by the way, I didn't taste no um egg in that last one. Maybe I didn't get to it or it was so hot that, yeah, okay. I mean, look, that's on my floor. Hmm. <sighs> That is good as well. Only thing I don't like y'all is the, the Kobe. I'm not feeling that cheese. I'm not feeling that cheese, but that bacon is really good actually. I still prefer my coconut bacon, but that's not bad with all the extra seasonings we added. All right. Hi guys, um, my name is Cindy Davis and Erin has invited me to taste her, uh, this looks like vegan hot pockets. Vegan. Ooh, 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 ooh vegan hot pockets um i'm very very excited because i do not know what these are filled with um so they're gonna be mystery pockets um really excited though <laughs> so let's get into it um first of all just the can we talk about the texture y'all come on it's come on i flake. mean oh flake, flaky so I, i'm not sure I, i'm guessing this is puff pastry Okay, okay. You're trying to have me burn off all my taste buds. It's been sitting I, there for 10 it's minutes. Steaming hot. That's good, y'all. <laughs> What's in there? It tastes like egg and sausage. And cheese, egg, cheese, and sausage. And the crazy thing is, it tastes better, honestly, better than a regular hot pocket. And the the sausage and the the egg, I, I would think that this is real sausage and egg. So it makes me wonder what's actually in a real hot pocket because this is vegan. Aaron says these aren't reheatable. <laughs> this is not reheatable. I'm gonna put it back in the oh. oven and and warm it up. All right, so this one looks like sausage too, but let's see. Maybe it's a combination. I don't look sexy at all while I'm eating this. I feel the puff pastry stuck to my lip, but that's okay. This is delicious, y'all. Okay, try to find out what the bacon. This, this one oh, tastes like sausage and, sausage and, and mm -hmm. sausage and bacon. Really good. Um, I know I'm saying really good for all of them, but that they, they are really good. Um, now would you have preferred cheddar or is that Colby Jack? No, this is this oh. is perfect. This is perfect. Hi right. guys, I've showered, I have on clothes, <laughs> so I'm just gonna close this out. Make this, I really look naked. Make sure you make this recipe and I'll see you guys later. Do you have any life insurance, Lincoln Heritage? Is there a code? Uh, no, just um, uh. Just life insurance. Life insurance. Everyone needs life insurance. Everyone, everyone needs it. This is your agent. Okay. <laughs> As always, make sure you like, 
comment and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time. Peace.